Well, hi there. Welcome to Sue's Quick and Easy Sick Sue Edition. Rob and I have a bad cold, and it's just it's not so much that it's a really, really bad cold. It just makes you really tired and worn out and stuff. So I'm making a dump dinner of sorts. Right here I have a pan with some aluminum foil that I sprayed down with Pam. And I'm going to take some of this uh, Progresso breadcrumb mixtures. Now you're supposed to use this for chicken tenders, but I'm sick, I'm not feeling good, I'm not going to make tenders or anything like that. I'm just going to do a real quick dump dinner here and call it good. So I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do, and we've used this roasting carrot method before, and it works out really great when you cook it with chicken because it gets mixed with all the chicken goodness, and it's really good. So I'm just going to cut these in like three parts, I guess. And I'm just going to throw those around the chicken. And I'm going to try to watch what I'm doing here a little bit because... Now, I want the aluminum foil to go a little bit up the pan because I want to make sure all the juices get stayed inside the dinner. Stayed. There's a word for you. Okay. <laughs> so there's the carrots. And then I'm going to take some sliced cremini mushrooms. And I'm just going to kind of work these around the chicken and the carrots as well. Now, see... The concept here is kind of like a non-messy kind of breaded mushroom type of thing is what we're going for. And this is not from the cookbook Dump Dinners. This is just a Sue's Dump Dinner, by the way. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I am just going to put some of these breadcrumb mixtures on top of my chicken. And then uh, on top of the mushrooms, too, because it's going to be cooking in that chicken fat, and it's going to have breading on it, and it might not be the most delicate-looking meal, but I guarantee it'll probably be good. So I'm just going to use this packet up. Okay. And I guess that I might put on a little bit of red pepper flakes just because we're sick. And the heat might break some stuff up a little bit. So I'm going to put some of those on the chicken. And then we're going to throw my dump dinner in the 350 degree oven for an hour. Because everything cooks in a 350 degree oven for an hour, trust me. So that's what's going to happen. And this is not white nail polish on my nails, by the way. I was working on Robert's job one day using primer. And I think I got some on the wall, but <laughs> most of it I got on my fingers. Oh, you should have saw my hands. I ruined my clothes. I didn't even think about putting painting clothes on. I ruined my clothes, and I was covered from head to toe with paint. It was even in my hair. People were just cracking up laughing. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back after an hour has taken place, and we'll see how this turned out. My dump dinner. Okay, let's see if this thing is rolling. It is. Okay, so I went ahead and made some baked potatoes the lazy way too, which is in the microwave. And very rarely do I do it in the oven. I'm a simple kind of gal like that. So here's the dump dinner. Now, it's nothing fancy. It was just a throw together meal. That's what dump dinners are supposed to be because it wouldn't sound like something that was a number two if it was supposed to be fancy. You know what I'm saying, right, honey? A dump dinner. Dump. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, those mushrooms, I mean, this this breading really crisped up on it. And it's, you know, like I said, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's going to taste just the same. It's going to be great. So, I'm going to try, before I have our dinner all the way dished up here, I'm going to try a little bit of the mushroom just to see how it turned out, because I'm curious. It turned out really good. I mean, like I said, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But, you know, maybe it's not supposed to be either. So, it's good. It tastes just the same. So, thanks for joining me today on Sue's Quick and Easy, the Sick Edition.
And I will talk to you guys later. Join me next time. Hopefully I'll feel better the next time. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.